Hello guys! I got a lot of questions about how I export my videos for YouTube. Since I make a lot of short films and test videos, it's important for me to have the best quality as possible when uploading videos to the internet. If you have a slow internet connection, or if you want to upload to pages such as Vimeo, which has a 500 megabyte upload limit for free users, it's nice to know how to compress the video in a good way. I'm using Final Cut Pro, and as you can see, I have a film which I've edited in this timeline. I got a lot of options when it comes to exporting the film, but first I want to choose what to export from the timeline. If you just want to export a piece of the timeline, you can press the X button on your keyboard and the in and out point will appear. Drag the in point to the place you want the film to start and the out point to the end of the film. Then if you want to save some time when exporting, you should drag down all the video files so they are all in one line. Do this only if it's okay to do it, and if you don't have made a split screen effect by using two lines and so on. Then you can export. If the size of the file you are creating doesn't matter, and you want to export the whole video uncompressed, you simply press file, and then export, and then quicktime movie. It doesn't take a lot of time to export the video uncompressed, but it depends on the format of the video, the length of it, and how much you need to render of effects and such. When you want to export a compressed video, I would recommend you to use Compressor. You can also use QuickTime Conversion in FineCut, but it's more practical to use Compressor. When you have selected the film you want to export, you press File, Send to, Compressor. Then Compressor will show up with different windows. In this settings window, you can add different presets to your export. For example, if you want to export a DVD so you can burn it in DVD Studio Pro, you can go into Apple, DVD, and then drag one of the folders you prefer into your video, which is over here. But I won't be using this preset now, so I delete it by pressing backspace. As you can see, you also got different MPEG formats and other formats that might come in handy sometime. But now we want to export a video for YouTube, so I simply make a new preset for it. Press the plus button and then choose QuickTime Movie. Then you can see in this window, called Inspector, the adjustments that you can make in the preset. What I would do first is to check that the frame size is correct. Go over to the Geometry button and down to Dimensions. If you want to export with the right frame size for your video, you should choose 100% of Source. Compressor will then export with the frame size you edited in FineCut. Remember that changing the frame size will not affect the size of the file. To choose how much you want the video to be compressed, press the Encoder button here. Then press the settings button for the video and choose H264. Now there are mainly two things you have to adjust. First of all, you have to choose the size of the file. If you press the restrict button, you can manually type in how much compression you want. When I export full HD video, I usually do it with 6000 shilobits per second. Then you will almost not see that the video is compressed and that's very nice. The file will also get much smaller than the uncompressed file. When exporting videos that are 720p or lower in frame size, you can also take down the shield bits per second to make the file even smaller. But for this preset, I'll use 6000 shield bits per second. Then I don't do anything with frame rate or the keyframes, nor the quality bar down here. But this one is quite practical to know. If you have a lot of time to export a video, you should choose multipass. But if you are in a hurry and want to export a file as fast as possible, you can choose single pass. The video will then export faster than the multipass, but in return you will not get as good quality as the multipass. I choose multipass and press OK. Then I press the audio settings and under format I choose linear PCM, which is uncompressed. The sound doesn't take much space, so you don't need to compress it as much as the video. Then I press OK. So now I've done all the adjustments and I want to give the preset a name. And then I press save button. The preset I made is now laying under the custom folder. Just simply drag it to the window where your video is and the video is ready to be exported. Just choose the name of the file and press submit and submit again. To see how big the file will be before you export, just double click on the preset on the video. Then in the inspector window you can see what the estimated file is. If you want to make the file smaller, you can simply press video settings again and choose a lower number under kilobits per second. Press OK and then you can see how much it affects the file size. 
If you want this to be a new preset, you can simply press save as. You can also do other adjustments in compressor, like deinterlacing the video by doing this, or maybe you want to add a bit more contrast to your video, you can easily do it here. You can use the preview window to see how the video will then look like. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to stay tuned on all my new videos, you can simply press the subscribe button or you can check out my other videos on my channel. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon.